uh, so what, what was it like playing in, uh, was it Coach Montgomery in high school? <coughs> yeah, Coach Montgomery. What did you learn? What did you learn from him that you took here? Uh, I just learned a lot. Like, Coach Montgomery, uh, you know, he just taught me how to just be the next man, uh, be a leader on the field, uh, basically just uh, playing at a high level. Um, he knew that I was coming here, so he was just prepping me up uh, to make sure uh, I have everything that I need uh, phys uh, physically, mentally, um, and just getting ready to play here in the SEC. So, can you talk a bit about Jalen Carter? Obviously, goes down with the knee injury. Can you talk a bit about what he brings to the team and what you're missing every step that he's on? Uh, Jalen brings a lot to the team, and uh, you know it was unfortunate that uh, that happened to him in the game. But uh, uh, we can on only stress the uh, uh, next man up, and uh, you know Jalen brings a, a big impact on the team. Brings uh, energy on the defense. Um, uh, he's exciting to, wa uh, to watch play, of course, and uh, he's a very talented player. You know, and we you know we miss him on the D line, but uh, all we can do is just you know keep going uh, and hoping that he gets better soon. Kind of along those lines, just what is the challenge like for the rest of the defensive line room, knowing that y'all are gonna have to go without Jalen? This is a big challenge. It's a big challenge for us, me, me and Zelo, uh, Tremel Walthour, um, Tarion Dawkins, Barry Alexander. Uh, it's a big challenge for us because usually we're um, used to playing with uh, vets, and now that is our time to you know get out there and work. Um, um, all we can think about is uh, you know executing our plays, um, uh, trusting the process, uh, trusting our technique, um, trusting what Coach Scott puts out uh, out on the field for us. And you know uh, we never really think too much about you know who's down. We always just thinking about uh, who's next up and who can uh, help the program. We know this is a, a really serious game, a serious program. But your, your social media, you have a little bit of fun. Can you give me some background on how you became such a creative guy? Um, at first, um, it started. I say junior, junior high school. Well, I was doing a little bit of all star games in uh, Texas. Um, uh, the USA team uh, went to the Nike opening. It was just uh, something that we just thought it would be fun to do. Uh, <clears throat> and I just started carrying along with it. When I, when I seen that, you know, more people started to like and view it. And, at the time, I wasn't really too big on social media. I was more subtle when it came to posting and uh, with videos and everything. But I think over time, I started to uh, use it as a side hobby, something that uh, entertained me on the side of football. I'm like, we, uh, we go through a lot of things as football players and stuff like that. And so, you know, I use my social media platform, which is TikTok, to, you know, try to get my mind off of, you know, maybe academics or how hard practice was that day. Or whenever I get a time of the day, I just like to spend or whatever time I have throughout the day, I like to spend it either doing schoolwork or if I have just enough time, I'll post a video here and there. Are the teammates always asking you to get in that? Now is that kind of picked up in the pocket? No, my, teammate, my teammates love it. You know, it's a, I say it's a handful of us who have uh, social media, um, TikTok um, in this uh, case. Um, and you know, it's funny, most of them uh, will comment on it and they say they love it and this and that. Um, I'll, have, I'll even have some teammates and ask to be featured on them and stuff like that. And, uh, um, you know, uh, in the past, I. Uh, did a little collab with you know Jordan Davis, but at the time it wasn't posted. I didn't. I'm not gonna post that because you know he's in the league. Uh, <laughs> um, I had one with Devontae Wyatt. It was actually a video of Devontae Wyatt. I wasn't even nowhere in the video at all. No one um, on my social media platform knew that it was Devontae Wyatt. They thought it was me. <laughs> but um, <laughs> they do. They do actually. They love the content, and you know they only encourage me to uh, do more of it when I'm doing. Uh, my best on the field and in the classroom. So if I'm not doing good at academics, they are not stressing, oh, no, nah, you should push out videos. They're more of, okay, you know, uh, do your thing academics, this and that, and you got at, um, social media. So, but when I'm doing good in those things, social media is always something I'll go back to. Two questions. Uh, one, does Kirby follow you on TikTok? And um, two, where do you think you've grown the most since you got here? I mean, Kirby mentioned that you've gotten more physical, learn how to strike blocks and stuff. Is that where you've improved the most or is it something else that you said? Uh, one, uh, Curry doesn't follow me on TikTok, but um, his son Drew, uh, Andrew, does follow me on TikTok. And uh, whenever he gets a little spill, and whatever I'm posting, he always shows uh, Kirby anytime. Um, and then two, um, yes, I, I, I feel like uh, I've been striking good. Uh, what was the question again? The second. Just where do you think you've grown the most? Um, I've just grown the most of just you know, going out there and just trusting my craft, just going out there playing, uh, no matter the mistakes that happen throughout the game. That happens throughout the game. I just taught myself how to just go into the next play and, uh, you know, stick to what Coach uh, Trey Scott teaches us on the field. Uh, I feel like I've improved with striking blocks. Um, most of the time I'm going against guys who are three, 320 up and uh, most really talented offensive linemen. Um, 
uh, including our office line. They're really good talent. It's a group of guys, and you know, they callous me since freshman year uh, to be, you know, a player I am today, and I'm only developing from here. Not to make this all about Dick Cobb, but uh, uh, they, uh, you kind of addressed this, I think you did, but uh, uh, Kirby said he didn't follow you when we asked him about you a couple of weeks ago, but uh, it, I assume some people at Georgia do follow you to make sure that, you know, that you're staying within brand or whatever. Mm -hmm. How is that, how is that interaction work? Uh, do, are you monitored by somebody to make sure you don't step out of line? And I saw the thing with the women's tennis team, which was I thought was hilarious. <laughs> uh, you got some more stuff playing like that with the other Um Yes, I actually do. Uh, and I feel like that would be later later in the season. Probably after, like, postseason, right. maybe, or after playoffs. I don't want to be too uh, distracted by the, you know, TikTok content. Like I said before, right. like, I try to uh, pick a time out throughout the day and, and I'll post something. I just, not post, but I'll make a video and I'll post it later. Yeah. So, and uh, I, so I actually do have some uh, other stuff with other sports going on. Uh, just not, it's just not the time to post it yet. And uh, <clears throat> what was the other question again? It, monitoring is like, is this a Brian yeah. Gant thing or what? <laughs> um, uh, yes, um, they stressed that a lot. And uh, we had a player, I'm not going to say any names, but we had a player, um, you know, posted something on TikTok and Kirby wasn't really too, uh, happy about it, blah, blah. He mentioned it to the team, uh, <clears throat> and that kind of came over to me. You know, me, I don't really post too much stuff that goes on uh, behind closed doors that's supposed to be confidential to the team. But, uh, yeah, after he stressed that to one of the players, I was like, okay, this is what Kirby don't want, blah, blah. blah. Let's stay, you know, stay subtle, still have fun with it, this and that. And, uh, and, and if there is any problem, most likely I'll just ask, uh, and then um, <clears throat> sometimes I, would, I wouldn't even have to ask. Uh, my coach, uh, Trey Scott, would just – uh, DM me on the back end, like, hey, uh, you know, try to minimize posting, you know, things in the locker room or this and that. Uh, that's why, I, like, I got a lot of stuff with Bones. I don't know if you guys seen it, but I got a lot of uh, content with Bones. They didn't mind me posting that. Um, but if I were to get any footage of us in the locker room or do anything in the locker room, that's more of a violation, more of a problem. And then, you know, Kirby just wants to keep everything private between the team, uh, inside the team. Gotcha. Thank you. What have you seen, uh, seen from Bear as he's come along this season? One thing I like about Bear is his anxiousness, and or not just anxiousness, but his, his urge to get out there and, and play. Um, I can see the physicality he has on the field, and, and it's, it's almost like he over overlooks like the uh, the uh, the technique thing about he just wants to get out there and play. We all do, but uh, the way we play defense here is uh, it's more is a uh, more dynamic. Uh, it's more specific. So, you know, we can't just go out there and just run, you know, standing up straight and stuff, stuff like that. We always want to uh, uh, play with low pads and stuff like that. And that's something Bear uh, is good at. Um, he's good at with his quickness. Uh, he strikes blocks. Um, once Bear gets his, like once he gets the D-line play and uh, how to play blocks and um, how to like, you know, look over like uh, offensive sets and how to, uh, you know, go out there and just play relentlessly, he's going to be a really great player. Um, he just has to know that himself. And I'm like, we all believe in him as a as, as a unit, and that we just want the best for him. Like he want the best for us. So you, Jeremy, and Tremel got into that small little uh, scuffle in the Missouri game. Can you talk a bit about the fire that the defensive line brings to the game, and um, and how much of that you bring into the rivalry game with the Auburn coming up? Um, it was very unfortunate. Like we didn't see it coming. Jalen didn't see it coming. Um, and you know, I feel like we handle it uh, a bit. I feel like we handled it better than it could have, uh, um, you know, went down. And, uh, you know, with us, when it being rivalry week, especially the oldest rivalry in college football, um, there's definitely going to be a lot of um, fire um, this game. But like Kirby says all the time, we don't talk with our mouth, we talk with our helmets. And and so, um, like, after the game, we're not going to be, after that altercation, we're not going to be walking the field, <laughs> field anymore uh, pregame. <laughs> Um, and I feel like uh, that's a good thing for us. Now we can just focus on just going out there and executing our uh, our craft. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate because I, re I really like walking out there, you know, looking at the environment before the game starts and stuff like that. But it's not too bad um, um, as a unit. Uh, we understand why. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm like, we're ready. I'm like, um, uh, as far as today, I can see that, you know, we have a lot to work on. But uh, we're going to go out and execute um, at our highest potential on Saturday. Obviously, you're focused on your football career first, but after life after football, would you consider doing something on the social media side, like a social media manager, uh, you know, for your career? Um, yeah, that was something I thought about. I thought about it so many times, and then 
and I try not to the, uh, be too focused on it because I know that I have a lot of stuff going on. I'm like, you obviously have NIL deals going on. You have, uh, you know, social media stuff going on, uh, football, school. And so I try to like uh, narrow down uh, my responsibility. So school, football, TikTok later, maybe NIL deal later, maybe. And so, yeah, but it's actually something I did think about uh, somewhere in the future. Um, and it's something I enjoy. Like I enjoy doing it. Um, most people do it for the views and the likes and stuff like that. That's something that you know just comes along with it. But like me, it, it actually entertains me to watch my videos. Uh, it you know makes me giggle a lot more than it makes my teammates. <laughs> <so. laughs> Let's take two more questions. You guys aren't down at halftime very often, especially not the last couple of years. Is there any difference in Kirby or any of the coaches, the way that they were communicating to you, you know, the looks on their faces, just anything? Or was it just pretty status quo? Of like this is what we do at halftime. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't say there was any difference. Um, I I can say that uh, compared to last year, it was just this is like the same the same energy Kirby would get us any halftime. Um, you know, uh, we always stress that we want to play good uh, against any team, no matter where they are in uh, the rankings or <clears throat> what conference they're coming from. Um, but uh, that game specifically, um, you know, we just. He just came uh, to the locker room and told us, like, this is what we need to do. Uh, we didn't start out like we wanted to, but we're going to go out there and we're going to pick up the pace. And uh, we all agreed, that, agreed with him as a team. We all became composed, and uh, we went out there and we executed. Um, and what was another question? Oh, yeah. yeah that, was oh, that was it? Okay. Oh, you seem like a pretty, pretty joyful, joyful guy. And uh, I was wondering how is it like transitioning into a different mood on game day? Some guys like to say they play angry. Would you say that's you? Um... I feel like I play with more uh, con uh, controlled aggression. I want to say I play angry because like um, they stress like if you play angry, you play out of control. Uh, me, I'm more uh, my anger is more controlled, or my aggression is more controlled. Um, and you know sometimes people would uh, they question that a lot. Like, oh, this guy he's uh, he's you know he's jolly um, outside of football. How does he lock in to game day mode? Is I ask myself that question too because when I'm on the field, I'm a whole different person. I'm like <laughs> you wouldn't really know that uh, from the you know TV or from the the stands, but uh, you know, it's it's something that I work I work on doing, um, especially when you're playing or you're striking someone who is not your teammate uh, throughout the week or that Saturday when you're striking someone who is different. It's more of uh, I'm playing for my brothers, and so you know whatever happens, I'm always just out there um, playing with physicality, playing at my best uh, ability and potential. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank y'all.